cryptocurrencies have been skyrocketing in recent years, but these digital assets have more to them than just rampant speculation. Blockchain, the digital ledger technology that enables cryptos, has actual real-world use. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are just one example. NFTs are tokens based on a blockchain that represent ownership of a digital asset. The recent craze in NFT surrounds digital art and creation, like how Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sold the first ever published tweet for $2.9 million via an NFT. Sound silly? Perhaps. But there's more to the discussion around NFTs than meets the eye. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the most talked about NFT or non-fungible tokens. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. If you're wondering what are non-fungible tokens or NFTs, well, non-fungible tokens or NFT aren't actually cryptocurrencies in the same sense as Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies utilize blockchain for its ability to track financial transactions between parties and were designed as a type of digital currency for use on the internet and in a digital first world. NFTs are also built on a blockchain, but instead are used to guarantee ownership of an asset. Think of it as a certificate like an auto or real estate title stating the legal owner of a car or home, except that an NFT is proof of ownership in digital form. Most NFTs are based on the Ethereum blockchain network. An NFT is a unique asset that's not directly replaceable with another asset, thus the name non-fungible. A fungible token, by contrast, is one that is replaceable with another one identical to it. Ether is the fungible token that traders on the Ethereum network, meaning one Ether is identical to another. The same goes for Bitcoin. One Bitcoin can be exchanged for another Bitcoin because they have the same value. Physical currencies work this way too. One dollar bill is the same as another dollar bill. But each NFT is unique. There isn't another one exactly like it out there. Digital code is written into this digital token and recorded using the blockchain network is based on, again, usually an Ethereum, to provide a list of historical ownership and the current owner of a unique digital asset. An NFT can represent any digital creation, music, videos, writing, etc. But how does NFT work? NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain, so they're individual tokens with extra information stored in them. That extra information is the important part, which allows them to take the form of art, music, video and so on in the form of JPEGs, MP3s, videos, GIFs and more. Because they hold value, they can be bought and sold just like other types of art. And like with physical art, the value is largely set by the market and by demand. That's not to say there's only one digital version of an NFT art available on the marketplace though. In much the same way as art prints of an original art made, used, bought, and sold, copies of an NFT are still valid parts of the blockchain. But they will not hold the same value as the original. And don't go thinking you've hacked the system by right-clicking and saving the image of an NFT either. That would make you a millionaire because your downloaded file won't hold the information that makes it part of the Ethereum blockchain. Non-fungible tokens are each uniquely identified through a token ID owned by a blockchain account or wallet and correspond with either a given asset or a defined collection of assets. These assets can be either physical or digital. Many different forms of data and metadata can be associated with each token. The token ID is associated with one or more underlying assets at the moment of creation or minting. At a high level, NFTs can be thought of as electronic certificates for each unique asset or collection of assets. NFTs encode provenance and other details about the asset they're certifying. We'll take a moment to review a few concepts and define a few terms useful in understanding the power of NFTs before continuing. Immutable Provenance NFTs are immutable because of blockchain's cryptographic linking properties and have provenance in that the transaction that creates the NFT and all subsequent transactions related to it are all in a linked list and discoverable by anyone with access to the blockchain. True Content Ownership An NFT held by a single wallet can only be owned by that user until traded to another user at their discretion. Conditional Rules That Ensure Fair Compensation NFTs allow one to program conditions that, for example, can provide for a percent of secondary sales to flow to named producers and to distributors, covering costs and providing 
some amount of protection against third-party arbitrage that undercut primary sales. Creator Economy The creator economy emerged with influencers, but they have been highly dependent on the policies and algorithms remaining consistent on the 2.0 platforms used to build their influence network. NFT, crypto marketplaces, and decentralized finance or DeFi services combined to create an unfettered, low-friction creator economy much more potent than what was previously emerging. Even so, non-fungible tokens could be an important technological development. In a new digital era that blurs the lines between the physical and virtual worlds, a new way to track digital asset ownership and distribution online will be increasingly important. These blockchain-based tokens could also disrupt financial intermediaries and lower the cost of buying and selling big-ticket items like autos and real estate. That doesn't necessarily mean you should invest in highly speculative NFTs, but at the very least, their development is worth keeping an eye on. Now, how do buying and selling NFTs work? Transactions with NFTs happen through a technology called a blockchain. NFT literally means non-fungible token tokenized and collectible items whose value stems from the fact that they're unique and rare and are popular on the Binance Smart Chain or BSC and Ethereum. The value of NFTs lies in their authenticity and scarcity, so it's useful to take a closer look at the token in a blockchain explorer. Simply put, blockchain is a system that allows you to track the spending and receiving of certain types of information over the internet. They're pieces of code generated online that carry connected information. It's the system that enables cryptocurrency transactions like Bitcoin, for example. Basically, every time there's a movement of assets, it's recorded in a kind of official document that's maintained by thousands of computers around the world and can be accessed by anyone. Why does this matter? Because the main value of NFTs is based on the premise of authenticity. This collective record is easily accessible using other tracking technologies. But the key is using blockchain technology, which makes the task of forging NFT purchase and sale information more difficult. The entire NFT ownership records remain in this computed history. If you ask how much are NFTs really worth, you'd be surprised. In theory, anybody can tokenize their work to sell as an NFT, but interest has been fueled by recent headlines of multi-million dollar sales. On February 19th, an animated GIF of Nyan Cat, a 2011 meme of a flying Pop-Tart cat, sold for more than $500,000. A few weeks later, musician Grimes sold some of her digital art for more than $6 million. It's not just art that's tokenized and sold. Twitter's founder Jack Dorsey has promoted an NFT of the first ever tweet, with bits hitting $2.5 million. A spacesuit with crystals growing out of it, one of the daily doodles. Christie's sale of an NFT by digital artist Beeple for $69 million set the new record for digital art. French firm Sorare, which sells football trading cards in the form of NFTs, has raised $680 million. But as with cryptocurrencies, they're concerns about the environmental impact of maintaining the blockchain. Digital pieces have always been very easy to copy and replicate. That's why most creators never make any money from what they have made. NFTs are changing the scenario. It may still be easy to copy an image, music, or a video, but the NFT itself, that unique code with buying and selling history recorded in it, is unique. Let's know your thoughts about NFTs in the comment section down below.